You know what he said to me was, he said, people are looking for favor. They are looking for breakthroughs. They are looking for open doors. They are looking for miracles. He says, but everything that they are looking for is just a byproduct of walking with me. Healing is the children's bread. If children have to beg for bread, they are not walking with God. Lift up your heads after you are holy. Lift up your head. O oh, ye gates. And the king of glory shall come in. Breakthroughs. But what is preceding all of that? After I'm walking in righteousness. After I have clean hands. After I have a pure heart. The king, you, comes. He's not talking of Jesus here. He's talking of you. Christ in me. The hope of glory. So he's saying, lift up your heads. O oh, ye marketplace gates. And be ye lifted up. You everlasting doors. So that the king can come in. Listen to this question. Next verse. Who is this king of glory? The God in you. Strong and mighty after holiness. Mighty in battle. You can't lose a battle if you walk holy. When I am holy, I'm unbewitchable. When I'm holy, sickness has to go. I don't even need to have anyone lay hands on me. That's why Jesus healed a man and said, go and sin no more, lest it come back worse. Oh Lord, help me. Help me to help your children. My desire is not for them to look for my number. No. My desire is for them to look for you. Because I'm only here to direct them to Jehovah. Like I said at the beginning. My desire is to point people to you. We look to the hills from where our help comes. Not to the pastor. We look to the hills. We look to the hills. You come here. I tell you look to the hills. Look to the hills. As you look to the hills from where comes your help your help does not come from 99 park lane 99 park lane is a bus stop to direct you to the hills i look to the hills from where comes my help my help comes from jehovah the maker of the heavens and the earth and that maker of the heavens of the and the earth he is saying walk in holiness walk in holiness as you are walking in holiness i will hold your hand into the promised land they that wait upon the lord <laughs> they shall renew their strength. These are God chasers. God seekers. Not money hungry believers. Not breakthrough desperate believers. The fastest way to run is on your knees. That is the fastest way to run. You want to be a high flyer. Be a God seeker. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Sin makes you weak. They shall mount upon wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. All oh, from seeking God. Why are you seeking for God? So he can walk with you. I love the boldness of the apostles that after God began to walk with them, they said, why should it be incredible that we should raise the dead? Why should it be incredible? Why should you not raise the dead? Do you know why it's not incredible? Because when we walk with God genuinely, not preaching about it, we, we carry the life of God. When we carry the life of God, when we get in contact with somebody who has a dead situation, we release that life because we are dispensers of Zoe. No, Zoe is not the God kind of life. I know that's what we were told, but revelation is progressive and dynamic. Zoe is the essence of God. Zoe is the essence of God. You become a carrier of God. You, you begin to host God on the earth. I'm not preaching heresy. Greater is he that is in me. But greater one cannot come if I keep sinning. He says, abide in me and I will abide in you for without me you can do nothing. That means that there are higher heights and deeper depths that can be achieved through holiness, 
that can be achieved through walking with God. Hey, I'm talking to a generation. Generation X, hear me. There's greatness that can come out of you if you decide to walk away from them. You can't beat them if you are like them. You can't mentor them if you are like them. You can't help them if you sin like them. Holy Spirit, help me to help this generation. Help me, Holy Ghost. I want to help them. I want to connect them to you, oh Holy Spirit. But I can't connect them until they make up their minds that holiness is the key. Holiness is the key. Righteousness is the key. Purity is the key. Hallelujah! God-fearing is the key. Hey!